everyone i am here today to share my things i wish i knew about motherhood so obviously things i wish i knew before i became a mum so as you can see i am in my uh, best best attire today i've got my hoodie on and then my maternity leggings which are amazing like look at these you can't really see but look look i highly recommend that everybody gets a pair even if you are never going to be a mum just get a pair like these are definitely staying with me post baby and just post post life i think so if you like this video or any of these things that i mentioned then please give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment to let me know the things that you wish you'd known about motherhood too and without further ado let's do it okay so the first thing that i wanted to kind of talk about and I think for me especially when I fell pregnant um, everybody wants to tell you how bad your life's gonna be so the first thing that I wanted to share that I wish I'd known about motherhood is that your life really really isn't over it's just different everybody wants to tell you about how you're never going on holiday again how you're never gonna sleep again how you're never gonna have money again <laughs> all of these things and it's just not the case you do have a very different lifestyle once you've had a baby that is true but the thing that people fail to mention is that that's a lifestyle that you choose to have you want to kind of adapt your life around your your children and it's just it's it's a different life that you want so to say it's over is just a ridiculous thing to say so examples of this are people always say oh you know you're never gonna have money like you never spend money on yourself and that is true like you do prioritize your children over yourself and making sure they have really cool toys and they're dressed really lovely and that they have the best stuff but that is because you 100% want them to have that you've prioritized them over and it makes you happy to see them happy so I would much rather that Rory is well dressed as opposed to me being well dressed it just makes me happier to have him in nice clothes even though he could not care less um and the same thing when it comes to holidays like i don't think we have any plans to do like backpacking around india anytime soon seeing as we have a one-year-old and we are going to have a newborn again really really soon um but we will go on holiday still and it will just be different things things that are very much charged towards children you know they have kids activities and kids functions um like disneyland disneyland's great and we go to send parks a lot you know um it's just it's a very different life but i feel like when you're pregnant people just want to scaremonger you and it is quite scary when i was pregnant with rory i heard it all the time about how crap life was going to be and most of the time the people are saying it are either people that have much older children or people that don't have children at all so they're not in it like if that makes sense but this is why i'm quite chilled out about having two under two because i did freak out with rory when i was pregnant based on what people were saying and then just took to it like a bird to water is it duck to water <laughs> yeah duck to water so i just feel like the same with the two under two thing everybody wants to tell me how bad it's going to be and how insane it's going to be and how nothing's gonna get done and i just think that's probably true but <laughs> if i listen to everybody and their fears like and the fears they charge towards rory i would be yeah it's, it's it wasn't the case so i feel like with the two under two thing it probably will be bad and it probably will be hard but it's also gonna be great it's gonna be fine <laughs> the next thing that i really wanted to share which sounds ridiculous but you are gonna be amazed by your superpowers um being a mum is just insane and i think this stands for being a parent but obviously i've never been a dad so i can't really say but i remember um even in labor like obviously i didn't really think too much during labor because that's quite an intense time but afterwards when I was in the hospital and like Rory had just been born like the first 24 hours I was walking around like Jesus Christ did I just do that like seriously did that just happen you're just amazed by the things that you have achieved I couldn't believe that my body just did this thing like it just grew this human being he came out beautifully like his ears were the right way around two eyes ten fingers da -da -da -da. like he was beautiful i made that from scratch first of all that's pretty impressive he was healthy he was happy he was born my body went through this whole process which was incredible and yeah i just was mind blown by what had happened and i remember thinking like all mums are amazing and the same thing happened in the first few weeks of having a newborn 
you're so tired like I've never known sleep deprivation like it it's crazy but you just carry on like you wake up you do it you feed your baby you deal with your baby you change his nappy and you just carry on and you just get through it on little sleep it's insane like I just I could not believe that we are able to do it and yeah I just had this newfound respect like I wanted to text my mum every day and be like well done you you did it twice like we're, we're grown-ups like you've done it for a long time you just get amazed by this complete ability that you didn't know existed this strength that you didn't know existed I just was amazed by this like I don't know I can't really describe it but it's just like this higher power that comes out of you when you become a mother it's insane it's it's really really mind-blowing and you feel so proud of yourself all the time the next thing I thought I would share is that you are probably not going to be the parent you think you're going to be so when I was pregnant I was like the I don't want to say I was judgy but I was probably naive um so with the whole sleep thing and getting the baby in the cot I'd be like well you just got to persist you've just got to be persistent and get them in the cot and get them to sleep for the night and blah 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 Rory has slept in our bed for a year like he is still very much in our bed I do now have to be the persistent parent because we are going to have a newborn soon and he can't well, I can't have all of them in our bed like basically they can't all be in there we don't have the space and the newborn will wake Rory up or vice versa like because Rory just still wake up in the night sometimes so that I didn't think I would ever be um there are just lots and lots of situations where like I don't know you know if the baby is kicking off in a shop and you see the mum pacify it with chocolate and you think that baby just needs to learn like that baby's not gonna learn and I give my baby chocolate all the time just to keep him quiet in the shop like all the time like I literally have like milky buttons in the pouch of my pushchair like ready just to preload at him there's loads of things that I just I didn't think I thought I'd be much more into routine Rory very much led his routine I didn't think we would do baby led weaning because he didn't agree with it Rory is baby led weaned like I am very much going off Rory's cues and whatever he wants to do if I had told myself that pre-baby that I would let the baby lead the way I would have been mind blown by that like I would have been like no the parents need to have control of that situation blah 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 and it's just not the case also what will happen though is that I will be led by the new baby so when the new baby comes if she's not into the things that Rory was into so like the sling co-sleeping lots and lots of things that Rory did that worked really well for him if she's not into that then we'll go off her cues too because at the end of the day I just want an easy life and doing what the baby wants is pretty much going to get me there obviously there's boundaries like Rory's in a habit at the moment of throwing things off his high chair so if he has his food he will just throw it on the floor that's not allowed out. we do try and teach him no to that one um so obviously there's boundaries to it but I'm definitely not the mum I thought I would be I thought I'd be way stricter and I really want to say way less lazy but I wouldn't call myself a lazy parent but if I had seen my parenting pre-pregnancy I would think I was lazy if that makes sense you're not going to be the parent you thought you would be and that's fine I also wouldn't have any preconceptions about the parent you think you're going to be because your baby will probably flip that on its head and it's just best to go with the flow and this is like not linked at all but I saw this thing on Facebook the other day about somebody saying um they wanted to plan what pain relief they were going to have in labor like you can't plan that like there's no way you could ever possibly plan that i know from my labor with rory that i had the epidural and i plan on not having the epidural this time around but both babies are going to be different both labors are going to be different i might be fine on gas and air this time around i might not like you just can't judge it even if you had like a super cool pain relief free first labor your second baby might decide no that's not gonna happen and you're gonna have pain relief you can't plan these things and i would just i would definitely say but motherhood is going with the flow okay the fourth thing that i really want to share is that motherhood is a really judgy place and that's not me saying like all mums are judgy um but that is me saying that it's quite surprising how judgy it can be um when I was pregnant I really felt like it was this huge tribe of women and everybody supported everybody and that is the case a lot of the time but I will say find your tribe find your mum friends and love them hard like even if you don't agree with certain things that's fine like just find a clique of women that are very similar to you and also um 
don't stick with a mum friend just because um this is turning into a bit of an advice video but we're gonna go with it anyway don't stick with a mum friend just because you think that you should like because they live in your area or you've got children of a similar age if you leave a mum friend and you feel a bit crap about your parenting style don't have that mum friend like don't have her at all like my best mum friends i could literally say anything to and it wouldn't be judged it wouldn't go any further if you have mum friends that make you feel a bit awkward just don't bother spending time with them it's like you don't have to basically but anyway motherhood is quite a judgy place and i was really really surprised by that i was really surprised by how outright people feel they can be judgy especially with social media like that's a big thing like i've had like wars over uh, facebook over people telling me what car seat my baby should be in and telling me i weaned my baby too early and um like breastfeeding that's a massive one and um, the controversial parenting tag video that just goes to show that everybody feels they have an opinion obviously everybody does but you know what i mean and people are really quick to voice their opinion or tell you how you should do it and tell you certain things and it is quite shocking for me being a mum is the best job in the world and my biggest privilege so when anybody tells me that i'm doing something wrong in their opinion by the way um it's really really painful to hear i hate people feeling like they can tell me that what i do for me and my baby and what works for us i hate for people to think they can tell me that that's not right you have like this primal instinct which we'll talk about in a minute um that you just think you're so defensive of it so it's just it's worse to be judged on that like certain part of your life um yeah that is definitely something i would pass on is that i just i was really surprised at how judgy it is and also i find personally that i just find it easier not to get involved so i won't kind of i don't know me and rory co-sleep everybody's got an opinion on how we shouldn't do it i don't go around dictating to people how they should uh yeah basically don't be too pushy with your opinions like i'm not too pushy with what i think i don't really kind of get involved in the conversations around it or the controversial topics around it i just kind of do what i do get on with it and it works for us i don't really kind of engage in those conversations if that makes sense another thing that i want to share is about how you may lose your identity when it comes to motherhood which also really shocked me i always really felt like i would still be the person i am but just a mum and obviously you are but i think because having a baby is so time consuming you kind of lose your um your interests so i remember one day i think rory was about four or five months old and he was going through a stage where he would not sleep in anything but the push chair and it also had to be moving so i'd gone a lot of walks <laughs> um yeah and i was walking one day and trying to kind of is boring basically so i took my headphones with me and listened to the charts and hang on what's happened to my hair and i remember just thinking what is this <laughs> like where who is this person that i'm listening to i don't know anything about music anymore i'd only been out of the loop for like five months and obviously everything changed i didn't know what i liked i didn't know who i liked i didn't know the songs that were out by the people that i liked you know like ed sheeran had a whole album come out and i'd not even heard it and it was just really odd it was this really odd kind of thing where i just realized like i don't know who i am anymore like i don't know what i'm into i don't know what programs i like to watch because yeah i just i didn't know anything about myself um so i started to make time to kind of indulge in my guilty pleasures so i will listen to podcasts quite a lot i kind of have got over the whole music thing because i used to listen to music whilst i worked and obviously now i don't work in the same setup i work from home so I would listen to podcasts because that helps me to learn about my job and what I'm doing and help me stay up to date with that. Um, and also I just really like learning. Um, but I will now read a book. My current book is also about blogging, so I'm kind of still indulging in that. But obviously I've kind of turned, you know, blogging is my job and obviously YouTube. Um, so that is a big interest of mine, but I make sure I make a lot more time to watch everything else and read other blogs, um, just to keep up to date and also just to take time out of myself. Um, but I will watch like really bad telly now. So I will watch like Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Teen Mum, um, 
bake off that's not bad telly that's amazing telly um and just make sure that i have things that are like focal points to talk about so when i have my mum friends around we can talk about things that aren't just the babies so we can be like what do you think of noel fielding and bake off like you know it's just it's giving you another dyna another dynamic because otherwise i felt like all i had to talk about was the baby or when rich got home i would talk about his work because i used to work with rich so i know the kind of ins and outs of that like area then obviously blogging became my job so i could talk about my stuff and what i was doing like i can tell rich about what's going on gossip in the blogging world um like new software that i've been looking at to kind of bring things along or training that i've been doing um i have started to buy nail varnish um, because i never used to put my nails because i just didn't want to risk the baby waking up and me having wet nails and stuff and that sounds really stupid i will take more time out to do makeup i will watch makeup videos to keep up to date with that and i just feel like even if you took 20 minutes a day which i know sounds like quite a big commitment but 20 minutes a day just to do something for you like i think that's really really important it's so easy to lose yourself i still have like identity crises where i'm like who am i like what do i even like what do i want and i would also say this is a harder one because my five-year plan's already been turned on its head but have plans and goals of what you want like yeah, obviously i'm pregnant again so that wasn't in my plan but um make a new plan like just always have things that you think you know in a year's time i'd like to achieve this in a year's time i'd like to achieve that have things to work towards so you're not just doing the same thing every day the last thing on my list which is something that really really blew my mind is just how vulnerable having children makes you i now have like a weakness like rory is my kryptonite and that is quite a weird thing like that i am just completely yeah I'm powerless when it comes to Rory. If something was to happen to Rory, I would lose everything. Like, yeah, I remember it really hit me once, and this sounds really stupid, um, and also quite bad. I can't really describe this without sounding horrendous, but we were watching this programme when I was pregnant, quite heavily pregnant with Rory, and um, it was about, like, this disaster situation, and I remember thinking, if I wasn't pregnant, I would be the first person in that scenario to go and help as many people as possible at the risk of my own life. So, you know, going back into a fire burnt building or something like that. Um, now I'm pregnant, or when I was pregnant with Rory, I'm also pregnant again, um, I would be the first person to run to safety for the safety of my child. Not for my safety, but because it is now my job to keep him safe and I would hide i would just hide myself away and i remember being really shocked by that and how much i had changed as a person because it goes against my character to put um to put myself first like that but obviously i'm not putting myself first i'm putting my child first his protection was the most important thing even when i was pregnant with him um so yeah i remember being really mind blown by that and that's just developed more and more since i've had him he is the biggest thing in my life that has to stay safe he's precious cargo he's like a golden golden bar um he has to stay safe and that's the most important thing to me at the end of the day if you took rory away from me i would just be you know it's made me really animalistic in that sense i really get it you know when you go to the farm and it's like uh is it sals or fowls what are pigs called you know when it's like mummy pig is um really protective of her babies so you know be really careful i get that now like i'm with mummy pig like that's fine stay away from my baby i am i will kill you if you hurt him like it's just so odd how you just become this really weak character but also really strong at the same time because i don't know i can't really describe it also when i hear the news that shit just it it it, it rots my core that we live in this world and i can't protect rory from the world it just yeah it's really hard to describe but i remember when um hearing the news like last this this year yeah it's still this year and obviously it's been a really bad year for news and i just remember feeling heartbroken that all these children had died parents had died you know like the ariana grande concert i just nothing broke my heart more than knowing that parents and children were put in that situation i was just so it just makes you so vulnerable like that news wouldn't have meant so much to me until i had children and i could really put myself in that position of how i would feel to be there um 
this video has got really deep all of a sudden but yeah it's just it's so odd how quickly you become just a vulnerable human being um i never had anything beforehand that i would consider a weakness like i probably thought i did but i didn't and now if i was in a burning building i am so vulnerable because i have to get rory out if my life depends on it he would have to go first like it's just it's really odd and surreal and obviously i'm gonna have two of those soon so i'm gonna have to like double trouble double vulnerability double everything so yeah anyway that got a little bit deep all of a sudden those are the things that i wish i had known about motherhood i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up if you did and also leave me a comment on the things that you wish you had known about motherhood and any tips and advice that you might have for new mums and like on the topics that we're discussing if you don't already then follow us on instagram instagram is my absolute favorite platform of social media and we are on there every single day talking about like what we're doing stuff like that so you get more of an update on what's going on than just on here so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one we upload every monday wednesday and friday at 7 30 p.m uk time so i'll see you in the next one bye